Tremini scores! So let's get a player's insight into that fantastic run from the only man from the 2007 side still playing at Wickham today. Someone who, 10 years on, is still a vital cog in the Wanderers team, having made over 520 senior appearances. Matt Bloomfield. It came after what was a fairly traumatic year, the year before when we got knocked out in the uh, in the playoffs. You know, John Gorman lost his wife, we lost, lost a teammate in Mark Philo, and then um, Paul Lambert came in and, and we went on this uh, incredible cut run. You know, the atmosphere down at Adams Park was electric for the home games. And then we used to, you know, we went to two Premier League grounds and just had a belief that we could that we could win. And like I say, that group of players just seemed to have that belief, led by Jermaine up front, who was in, you know, imperious form. Um, and we had a good group of players behind him. And uh, him and Moons led the line. Moons, I think, set him up for maybe 26 of his 27 goals that year. And, and like I say, we had a good team and, and a great group of lads. And it came up recently that Bayo actually played for... Swansea, the second half against us in that first game. He got me on at half time to bully them a little bit, you know, and then I'm shoving around. I, it's coming back slightly, um, but yeah, 10 years ago, I've been in the game for a little while. Um, but you see how it comes full circle? So, Because I knew I'd be here 10 years, and I didn't want to win the game. So you lot will, you know, be hating me now. I don't think Bayo looks back on it too fondly, because we went to the Liberty, who, you know, that was a new stadium at the time, and we went down there and won, and it just kind of set us off on the right foot. And, and he just gathered momentum from there, really. Great game um, down at the cottage. Just, we've got a photo that we're celebrating up in the um, up in the change room, so I'll keep that. And like I say, it, it was a really big night for us. Um, great following support down beyond that goal and Jermaine scored and we were celebrating in front of the fans which is again a moment you remember like you say Aikman on the trot we, at that point when we went down there we were in, in such great form and we felt like we could take on anyone which, which we proved to go to a Premier League ground and win with, with seven internationals up against us That was going to be another stern test, as it as it proved really at home. Extra time and penalties. And Ricardo, he was a larger than life character, and in those situations, that that was when he thrived. Those big those big moments. Three penalties he saved, so um, that was key to us going through. They were in the same league as us, so whereas the other games you're you're raising your game to to such a you know special cup night. This was a game that maybe we got to that point where we were expected to win. We'd been on a great run. Jermaine scored again. Um, him and Moons up front. I just remember being, you know, just so strong. Moons was flicking it on or, or finding Jermaine with through balls, and um, and Jamma scored again that night. So we won the game and, and started to look forward, you know, to the quarterfinals, which is for us at that time was was huge. By this point, we were just relishing the night. You know, we were just looking forward to it, thinking, well, we got to the quarterfinals, we've got nothing, to, you know, nothing to lose away at a Premier League team. They were on a terrible run at the time. Les Reed was manager and was under all kinds of pressure. It wasn't a great um, atmosphere inside the valley that night. I remember it being quite hostile towards the home team. Probably one of my most enjoyable nights in a in a Wickham shirt. Um, again, Jermaine scored in front of our fans. We were all celebrating. Second half, we're defending that goal and. And there was just huge, maybe six thousand or something behind the goal and on the side. So it was just, it was just an amazing night. And then you know, the final whistle blows and we're celebrating in front of the fans. <laughs> 